Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today is the SD Cross Silhouette Great Mazinger. Now, I've known about this kit for quite a while, I think uh, since the, was it the Shizuoka uh, Fest, I think? I think it was one of those uh, toy festivals that came out around maybe like uh, August, September time frame. Uh, they did showcase a lot of the Cross Silhouette stuff, so this was one of the ones that really caught my eye, and uh, finally it's here. So, is it good? Or is it mediocre? Because it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. But let's go ahead and check it out. And so we're going to start with the SD mode. Uh, essentially what the SD mode is, is a very, very short little stubby Mazinger. Um, now, I do like this. I do like the way it looks. The articulation is very, very non-existent. However, I, I just I think it's a little adorable. It's a little, little cute, great Mazinger. Uh, and that's kind of like what you're going to be getting with the uh, basically the SD version. So I don't think this is any kind of like bad little, you know, figure right here in its little base form. Uh, but I will say that it's, you know, it's definitely not going to be something you're going to want to play with because it's just not super posable. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through all the articulation. Um, it's very lacking, like I mentioned before. Uh, but going through the head, the head is actually probably one of the best parts. Uh, the only problem is that it doesn't go side to side. And uh, it's going to be the same exact posability and articulation as the cross silhouette uh, kind of like version of this. So the shoulders, they can go in and they can also come out. But you are going to want to keep these in just for the SD mode. Just kind of give it more of that little chibi look. Um, now the arms and everything that's going to be able to come out, it's going to have uh, pretty much a rotation right here and the hand itself can rotate as well. It's going to be on a ball joint so you are going to get a little movement but just watch out, uh, it does kind of pop off and the elbow is, is that's it. That's, that is the max of what you're getting. Uh, but the waist, the waist is going to be good as well so you're going to have some twisting and bending and a little bit of an ab crunch. Uh, right there if y'all can definitely see that uh, I know it's a little bit dark but yeah you are gonna get an ab crunch so that's pretty decent uh, then the hips right here these are also gonna be able to come out this is gonna be no change uh, with the cross silhouette as well it's gonna be on a ball joint uh, the major parts is just gonna be uh, what the difference is gonna be these uh, joints which I'll definitely cover in the uh, cross silhouette form as well but yeah you'll have a little rotation right here and then the feet is going to stay the same Okay, so now looking at details of the head, uh, the head sculpt is really beautiful. Uh, I, I just really love it. I love everything about this kit. I can't find really bad things. Uh, the only thing I can really say is possibly maybe the uh, the grill not having the black on the inside, but that's such an easy paint application. Uh, just paint the inside of that black. Uh, the you know the little. Um, I guess I'm just gonna call it a core fighter. I don't think I know it's not called. It's called a a brain condor. But I mean, come on, it's a core fighter. Uh, but yeah, the, okay, the brain condor. I'll just be nice. Uh, this thing doesn't have as much paint applications, which I'll go ahead and pull out right now. And here it is, the brain condor. Uh, so it is going to have like basically a, a very glossy black piece underneath it. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and keep it like in a landed uh, pose, you can definitely do that. If not. And just something that's just going to attach on the inside of the uh, the helmet piece. Uh, but it's going to be red, black, and it's going to have a clear blue right there. So if you want to go ahead and add some silver underneath or do some details on the inside of that, you're definitely more than welcome to. Now looking at the body, the overall just glossiness. Now you've already seen that in the Gunpla Hunter segment, uh, but this is just super, super glossy. Um, you can probably see my, my reflection in the camera on the uh, the kit itself, but yeah, this is just like very, this is just super impressive. Uh, not even the uh, the Bandai high grade you know, was in this kind of like glossy uh, coat. It's a little bit more toned down in that one, so they put, they put a lot of effort into this. I'm very, I'm just very stoked, and I, I cannot I cannot imagine this coming in a dull color now. Now I'll just keep on looking at it. And, I, and when I do paint it, I'm going to keep it glossy. I want to try and you know gloss it up as much as I can because uh, I think it just looks super good. Now one thing is, is going to have, as you can see right there, maybe a little bit difficult, but it's going to be a little clear piece. Um, you do put a silver sticker underneath, underneath that, but um, you know once again, I'm going to paint it later, so I just did not apply that sticker. 
And if you want to know what the stairs look like, uh, here they are. You're going to have a lot of different placements, uh, which are just kind of like scattered all over. So parts for uh, like the brain condor, which will be this yellow. You got, you know, stickers to the eyes, uh, just some white pieces that just go all around, like, all, whether on the eyes or uh, the brain condor as well. So yeah, these are the only stickers. And I, for the most part, I think they're all easily, um, you know, you can easily paint all this uh, on the kit. But yeah, it's up to you if you want to or not. Now this kit is going to come with some different hands, so the first hands that I'm going to show you are these closed fists, but they do have a little peg hole so you can go ahead and plug different weapons into them. And you're also going to get these open hands, so I, these are going to be super amazing, uh, especially in the cross silhouette phase, and just posing is going to look beautiful with these hands attached. And you're also going to get this pointing finger, so if you want him to, I guess, point at a mobile suit or point at you or point at the taco that's sitting on your table then definitely have the pointing finger going guys definitely go for it all right so let's proceed to transforming it into the cross silhouette mode now for the head all we're going to really do is just take out the brain condor and then for this part going to be a little tough but you want to push these eyes out and you're going to slide these new ones in there a little bit more uh sleek if i should say so Docking on! God damn it, get in. God damn it, get in. Come on, you're embarrassing me. Oh, there we go. Now for the arms, all we're gonna do is pop these right out. You're gonna have this little polycap piece. Oh, uh, not polycap, sorry, the uh, the joint, the elbow joint is just going to pop in and bam, that's, 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 that's that elbow. And for the legs, we're gonna pop this off right here. And then for the legs, you're just gonna Slide that out, rotate it, and this little fin piece is gonna be on the outside. Connect this point right here, and then reattach the leg right there. And here is the cross silhouette mode. Uh, the only big difference between this and the normal SD is going to be the size of the eyes. Uh, you got the extension of the uh, pretty much the arms and the legs, uh, mostly in the elbow joints. That's something that you just kind of add on. Uh, other than that, though, it's going to be the same exact kit, just with all these little extensions. Now, the articulation for this is going to have a little bit more range of movement. Uh, so up here, the head is definitely going to go back. Uh, nothing side to side, but it can rotate all the way around. So good mobility right there in the neck. Now for the shoulder joint, maybe it's a little bit hard just because of the color, you know, how dark it is. Uh, this is actually going to be out, so you can definitely push it in a little bit, uh, but for the most part, you want to keep the, uh, the shoulder joint out. And this part, you know, obviously it's going to come up, come down. Uh, it's a little bit uh, tough to rotate without popping it right out of the socket. Uh, but right up, right here, um, there's going to be a little bit of a movement, kind of difficult for to, to for y'all to see, I know. Uh, but yeah, definitely going to be a rotation right there, if this thing can ever just stay on. Uh, and then there's going to be the elbow joint right here, which is super, super good. There's going to be a little bit of a curve right here within the armor, uh, so it's just going to allow you to have a little bit extra of a bend, so just a very slight uh, bit more of a 90 degree. Now, I, I don't mind that. I think it's actually going to be really amazing to pull off some very fantastic poses. And then also this part right here is going to be on a little uh, poly cap. So basically just going to pop that right on there. And other than that, you're going to have the hand, which is pretty much exactly the same. So that can just kind of rotate all the way around. And for the waist, you are going to have some movement right here on that little ball joint. And for the hips, the hips actually rotate out. So that is super awesome. I wish uh, maybe a lot more of the uh, Gundams can go ahead and adapt that type of uh, movement, but that is super, super cool. Now this is gonna be on a little ball joint right here, as you can see, so it's gonna allow some rotation. The knee joint can also rotate, and it can also go up and down. The calf can also pretty much rotate all the way around in 360. And then the foot is gonna be on a little ball joint, and it's gonna allow for some good movement. Now, what accessories is this guy going to come with? Well, let's go ahead and equip him with his main sword. And then you're going to have the Mazinger Blade. A uh, really, really cool looking weapon for this particular kit. I think it's uh, the appropriate size. Uh, it's not really like super, super like long and it's not like you know, crazy short like a little dagger. It's it's pretty much proportioned to like this SD style. Uh, now, it is going to be one mono, mono color. Uh, it's pretty much a light gray. So you are going to have to paint the actual blade part silver and then the, you know, hilt and the, um, the actual grip uh, gold. That's pretty much the colors that they actually come in. So 
not really too bad. Uh, I would just go ahead and bust out the masking tape, bust out the uh, hand paints, and go ahead and get to work. Now there's also another weapon this kit can use, and that's the Great Boomerang. So you can basically take off the chest piece and plug it into the hand and kind of just wind it up as if he was uh, throwing a, a boomerang somewhere out yonder, you know. But yeah, that's a, I, think it's, I think it's pretty cool. You know, let's just go ahead and throw that little V fin or chest V, however you want to call it. I don't even think it uses it as like uh, the heat, uh, like the heat beam, uh, much as the other Mazinger Z. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks good. So pretty decent weapon. Now this is going to come with the scramble dash, which is essentially the jetpack. So it just pegs right there into the back and there's no articulation with this whatsoever. Uh, there are some stickers that would pretty much go on this. Uh, but I, once again, I just kind of left it all off. I, I definitely want to paint this kid in the future, but nonetheless, the colors on this is very vibrant, very bright. And, uh, that overall just is going to make this kit stand out. And then the last accessory that this kit's gonna come with is essentially this little peg piece that can uh, pretty much plug right there. So if you don't want to plug it right on the inside of the kit, uh, you can go ahead and plug this and you can just allow it to have some better little poses, especially if you wanna do uh, some flight poses. And when this kit is posed, it is going to look super, super cool. Uh, it's just like a little chibi hero, so I'm very much happy about this. Uh, this is something I'm very, you know, I will be very proud to put this on my shelf, uh, whether at work or here in the office. Uh, this is something I'm just super, super happy to look at. It just kind of like brings a little smile because of how chibi it is. And I mean, I know the show is kind of like a goofy show in the first place, but you know, I just look at this as something that's a little bit more menacing, maybe a little bit more um, kind of like supposed to be intimidating, but look how chibi it is. Very, very adorable. So I don't know. I just really, really love it. Okay. And for my final thoughts, this kit is just beautiful. It's a uh, very glossy. I, I don't know, man, just the proportions look super dynamic. Uh, the articulation is exactly what I would have wanted from a cross silhouette kit uh, of this caliber, essentially. So I don't really have anything negative to say. Uh, I mean, I, I think that this kit all, pretty much overall is just super solid. And also the color separation is just beautiful. Uh, there are some stickers that come with it, obviously, but I think a lot of it can easily be painted. Uh, if not, I mean, you can definitely neglect it. And you know, as shown here, I haven't used any stickers and it still looks like a very solid kit. Now, most of the stickers are definitely gonna go for uh, the scramble as well as the, um, the little jetpack on top of the uh, the head, the little like core fighter. So other than that, I mean, everything else is gonna be very nice. Um, maybe just some minor paint details here and there, but. Uh, nonetheless, the color separation on this kit is very beautiful. And if I can add one more thought to this, uh, it would essentially be that this kit is kind of opening up a gateway for more uh, SD cross silhouette kits in the future. So anything that is kind of like in the mecha line, I can definitely see getting an SD cross silhouette, um, pretty much an SD version of it. So something like the Evangelions or maybe the Grin Logins, that would be super, super cool. Uh, but yeah, that's about it guys. So other than that, this is a very solid kit, uh, roughly about 16 bucks. So I think it's worth every single penny. Uh, but that's it for me guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And like always, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know exactly what you think of the kit. But other than that, guys, I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.